visiting a lovely part of Portugal today. It's up in the hills or the mountains. They're called Serras over here. And it's near Oliveira do Hospital. And there's all kinds of little villages up here in the, these little mountain areas. Um, and we're just going through one now called Pomares. And we're going down to a very pretty one called Avó. AVO, that's how it's spelled. And it's got like this little river beach, um, Praia Fluvial, they call these little river beach areas. And it's just really cute. And we just went up to another area up here, a tiny place to look at a house. And um, so now we're driving back down. So let's take a look. Some beautiful views around here. drive like crazy around these little um, you know, kind of mountain areas, windy roads. I was talking to a British couple who live in the area that we're interested in possibly buying a uh, fix-up place <laughs> in and they're just telling us about you know the weather here in winter and so on and, and actually these roads aren't too bad in the winter apparently they drive you know, on them and they just have a regular little car, not necessarily a four-wheel drive, so that's good to know. Okay, we're coming up to Avar. I think that's how you pronounce it. Avar actually means, um, or is it Avar? Okay, I don't remember now. Avar or Avar means grandmother or grandfather, so Avar means grandmother and avor means grandfather. It's just slight kind of um, difference in the pronunciation. Look at those little houses up there, isn't that lovely? Look at this. It's really quite beautiful and they're actually, they look like kind of restored older homes which is really nice to see and you can see the valley area down here a little bit over the wall. We're coming up to the main part of this particular wall. Um, and it's, it's just really cute. I have to go pretty slow through here Quite because narrow little slow. streets and of course people always come driving too fast. Along. Well here we are in this sweet little village. It's just one of quite a few little places. And, um, People are just coming from this little beach over here. This is like a little bridge kind of area here that we're walking on. And look at down here, but it's very sunny, so it's that kind of affects the video quite a bit. But look at this. Isn't that beautiful? There's the beach. We're going to get a bit closer and get a better view of it. This is kind of the other side. Look, there's people swimming down there. Look at this. It's kind of nice. It's kind of a... Look at those gorgeous rocks down there. They almost don't look real. You know, like they're fake or something, but I think they're real. Look at that. That's the area where people are swimming to the left over there. There's a sign back there that said no cars, but of course, the cars come down. Look at these little nooks and crannies everywhere, like these steps. Little house there, look at that. This must have been absolutely. Here we go. Here we go. Here's, here's the Praia Fluvial of Avó. <laughs> the Portuguese um, reading of the, the you know the little accents above the O. I don't remember if that's O or O. 
a ball or a ball. But anyway, whatever. Here we are. It's a good place to probably learn how to swim because it's quite shallow. This is like, like a little sandy beach area there too. Look at that. Sweet. Walking these little narrow roads and exploring. Let's see how it, where it goes. Look at that. Beautiful. There's a great big lovely deck up there. Nice and long. Beautiful. Wow. I don't know much about the history of this village. But, you know, I expect it was very much a mountain kind of dwelling with typical kind of goats and shepherds, you know. I don't know, this kind of just goes down to the water, the back way. Oh, okay. I'm just sort of exploring a bit. I don't know where this is taking us exactly, but... Oh, it's just another part of the beach area here. Yeah, right here. Okay, let's go back. Just a bit of a smell here, so I don't want to step on anything disgusting. <laughs> Bob, I don't want to step on anything back there. Just kind of a bad smell. <laughs> <laughs> mm, look at this. Some of it's just sort of crumbling away, isn't it? Look at that. What was all this once upon a time? Who lived here? 1960. That house there. Oh. Little streets. We just came from Pumar. A little bit higher up. Okay, we're gonna walk up here. Let's see what's up here. Other little back roads and stuff. Cute. Look at that little, that reminds me of like a oh, <laughs> medieval kind of, um, these weird little things rooms they would put above alleyways and things in medieval times in England. It just takes us back onto the road. This is a very small place really, but it's just, it's always quite lively it seems because of the beach. It's a little restaurant here, amazing. Where is it? <laughs> oh, it's in here. Wow. A restaurant in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but a not very visible location. Nice mountain air. It's not real mountain. This actually isn't yeah. too far from um, Serra da Estrela, Mountain of the Star, which is the, you know the most famous um, mountain here in the. Uh, Portugal. It's very pretty as you can see. You see the little houses on hills. You have to have, um, oh look at this, like a little old fountain. Yeah, try it Bob, does it work? Nice and cool? Is it? Okay. So there's another one on this side. You have to have good knees, though, to live in these places because there's always a lot of steps, you know. You see all these little houses? Steps going up to those. I'd like to be able to bring my mom and dad here. Um, but I can't, you know, they can't really walk anywhere. I mean, you can drive through, but they can't walk anywhere because of the steps. They can, my mom's got very bad knees and dad's just too weak. So they can't walk anywhere where there are steps. Lovely. Very 
very sweet. Also quite a few places in Italy that look like this. Only probably a little more dramatic because of true mountains in northern Italy. Just went up this little road and look at this. Little old church, isn't it? Is it a church? Chapel. Capella. So it's Capella there. Capella is a big chapel. Sweet. Look at this. The way they used to build things. That's a little house now. Somebody's property here. Yeah. Fifteen? Ah, it's fifteen kilometers from Oliveira do Hospital. Which is quite a well known city, isn't it? Look at the kitty down here. Hey kitty. Hi darling. Hi. Bab just said there's a castle up there. Look at that. With the ruins of the castle, of course. Um right on the top of the Castello de Avo. Okay, anyway, we believe it's up there somewhere, right? So, yeah, there's a there's actually a castle up there. The ruins of a castle. We don't know anything about it. Um, probably trying to put something in the description about it. Once we read up about it a little bit. Anyway, we're moving on. Looks like there's uh, like yeah. buses and all kinds of things here. Wow. It's a busy day here in Avon. <laughs> Look at all this traffic. What's this for? Is this just for the beach? That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Just a tiny little river beach area. There must be some event going on.